buy this card before it's too late. So boys, we are back once again for another video on buy this card before it's too late. This is my series where I go through and tell you the best cards to pick up to make coins in FIFA 22. So over the past week, we've actually had loads of different content. We've had a year in review player pick. We've had new team of the week upgrades. We've got throwback marquee matchups. We've had a whole host of shape shifters, SBCs. We've had icon picks, icon packs. We've had so much content. In addition to that as well, we've had loads of different objectives. We've also had shapeshifters swaps and there's so many opportunities to make coins. So make sure to watch until the end to see all of the investments that I've got for you, the boys. And just before we carry on with this video, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. Use that code LE5Cheap. So starting off this video, I want to take a look at things that I mentioned last week. So the first one being gold team of the week cards. Now these have gone even more higher with the abundance of SBC that we've got these have actually risen in price all the way up to 26,000 coins these were chilling around 23 22k and on Friday you could get them at 20,000 and under and I think that that was a perfect investment to make if you didn't make that investment it's all good don't worry these come down again under 20,000 coins try and pick them up and flog them on when they go up in price at the minute they're going for about 26k in addition to that as well some other cards have also gone up in a team of the seasons and boys if you are enjoying this video if you could please please do drop a like and subscribe to this channel. It would mean a massive, massive amount to me if we could get over five likes that would be sick but team of the season cards have gone up now to 50,000 coins now these were chilling consistently at 45,000 they went down to about 42,000 on Friday when we got lightning rounds and now they're back up to 50,000 again the needed for SBCs at the minute is definitely an area that you need to keep an eye on because these will be coming down and going back up just keep an eye on these team of the season cards under 40,000 you know what to do. Now, I also want to take a look at Shapeshifters Team 1. Now, I actually mentioned a player specifically that I really like the look of last week in terms of investment, and this investment has done very, very well. Now, Hector Bellerin it was someone last week who was going for around 42,000 coins, but if you take a look this week, he is actually selling for 58,000 coins, roughly. He's actually going for about 54,000, so at 48,000, he's up by about 6,000, 7,000 coins. So if you've made that investment, you have made very, very good coins on this, but let me show you investment that I like from this team. So one player I'm looking at specifically this week is going to be Roberto Pereira in terms of investment. I think that this card looks very, very good and I do see him creeping up ever so slightly as soon as he goes out of packs. Now at the minute, you can get him on PlayStation for about 120,000 coins. However, I'm not mega keen on this price. I would try and get him for about 110,000 or under. Obviously, this video will be going out a day after that I record it. So if he's gone over 120,000, just leave it. But if you can get him 120,000 or below, I would pick it up. Another one who I don't mind the look of in terms of a sort of cheap investment is going to be Marko Arnautovic. Now, the only reason why I'm saying that this is an investment is because he's so cheap at the minute. Now, with a shadow on him, he goes very, very good. Now, take a look at his price. Now, he's been chilling consistently all day at under 50,000 coins. So, I, that's personally where I really like his price. Under 50,000, I think he can rise up to 60, 65,000 next week. Again, 53 is not bad, but I feel like that if you just sat here and sniped him just for like 10, 15 minutes you can get yourself plenty of deals with a shadow on him this card is one of the best center backs in the game admittedly he's very hard to link but i just think it's an option like there you go 51,000. if you could get a bit cheaper than that muy bueno muy muy bueno another area to go and invest in at the minute i really really like fodder now one thing that i've noticed over the past two weeks that fodder has been the very cheapest at the start of the week monday and tuesday and it's slowly risen all the way into thursday is when you should be selling this stuff on so what i mean by fodder is 84, 85, 86 rated cards who don't get into people's main teams. For example, Maguire is a perfect example of this. 5.3k is going for at the minute. Last week he started at 3.7k and by Thursday he went up to 5.5k. Now admittedly this is quite high at the minute this fodder so I don't know whether I would recommend to just go and pick it up straight away but that's the trend that we've been seeing recently and I think with more good SBCs this fodder is just going to get more and more expensive so definitely keep an eye on this stuff. I just think it's definitely worth it. Can't really ever go wrong with just sniping it cheap and then selling it on a bit later on or just selling it on instant. It really is up to you like under 5k would be pretty good but I know that it's not always as easy to get that so just sit here.
here, try and snipe him at whatever price you can get him at. Not just Maguire, but any other 84s, 85s, 86s. All of them have followed the same trend over the past two weeks. So EA have also been continuing the theme of releasing these new Shapeshifter SBCs. And you can still do trading around these and investing around these. And I want to show you a perfect example of this. We recently got that Chucky Lozano card. Now, Lozano is very, very hard to link. He's Mexican. Syria is okay, but he's Mexican. The main thing being there that you can't get strong links to him. Player like Insigne actually rose in price after the release of that Lozano card. So let's go and take a look at some of his special cards and see what they are chilling at currently. So you've got the Team of the Year nominee one, which rose ever so slightly. But you also had the Foot Captains one, which actually went up around 10,000 coins and is still rising at the minute as people try and find a link to that Lozano card. So at the minute, he's currently chilling at 76,000 coins. He started at around 60,000 before Lozano came out. So again, if you're wanting to make coins, whenever we get a SBC for shapeshifters or end of era, try and pick up cards who directly link to that card who are decent. I don't just want the normal gold one. People are spending like 200,000 coins on some of these cards. They're not going to want the normal gold insignia to pair up with them. They're going to go for the best version of that card possible. Continuing the theme as well, players are still starting to go up in price as soon as they go out of packs and you need to keep an eye on this. A second that any of these cards get promo cards, they go up in price and they stay high in price. There's so many different SBCs at the minute. People are looking for solutions all the time and if a player isn't in packs, it's going to get bought out and the price is going to rise because there's a massive lack of supply but the demand is still really high. Sergio Ramos at the minute on the PlayStation market doesn't have any version of his gold card. If you would have bought him at around 20,000 coins, which is what he was chilling at before he went into the Shapeshifters promo, you will be making 10,000 coins per card bought right now. So any cards that are on the way are coming out soon. As soon as they get announced, you need to get them bought up quickly, hold on to them and wait for them to go up in price within about three, four, five days and you will be making yourself millions and millions of coins potentially by doing it. Another thing just to keep in mind as well is that we are still getting these shape shifter swaps items which are going to be used that you can redeem for different prizes along the way across shapeshifters. So you can actually do some investing around objectives that are coming out. So for this one, for example, score a goal from across using Bundesliga players in five separate squad battles matches. So what a lot of people have been doing, and this has actually affected the price if you take a look on Footbin, is picking up players from the Bundesliga who have high heading accuracy just for that one. So this is just an example. So let's go and take a look at the player in question at the minute. Andre Silva actually rose by around 5,000 to 6,000 thousand coins just for the fact of that he's got good heading. Now at the minute he's going for about 30,000 coins. He's actually one there at 27,000 coins which could actually be a pretty decent deal. His next one with a striker and hunter is coming at 30,000 coins. I could pick that one up and you know what? I am going to pick that one up at 27,500 coins to flip it on at 30,000. So when we get these different objectives that say for example score with Premier League players in five separate with a cross or whatever it is, look for players who have got high stats in certain areas that help with those objectives. For example Andre Silva has got really good jumping so people started to pick him up as they completed those different objectives and you'll notice as well that these players rise more on Mondays and Tuesdays after the weekend because people are bored in foot. They've done the foot champs, they've done the div rivals so they move on to the objectives. Just something to bear in mind as well as our final investment. But if you enjoyed this video make sure to click here to go and watch another one. You will absolutely love it. As always the boys thank you very much for watching. Make sure to go and check out my second channel link in the description but it's me, Six Lewis and I am off. Ish.